Hi, my name is Kunhan Thompi and this is my film pitch. The film I will be presenting is called The Consequences, a short film about a teenage boy's guilt making him worry that he will end up as a very bad person for what he did. I worked as a writer on this project and will be directing it too. Here we see the logline. This film is a surrealistic comedy that deals with elements of guilt and the short adventures of a teenager and his friend trying to get rid of their first pornographic magazine. The mother character will also be very short but significant in this movie as she is the source of the protagonist's guilt. The film is divided into three distinct acts. The first when he receives the magazine and is very innocently for the first time in his life masturbates. For the audience this is all through sound. Later at home when we learn that he was a very caring and protective mother who worries a lot about his sons becoming degenerates. And through conversations, confused and ridden with guilt, he convinces his friend it's easy to get addicted to your own genitals and waste away your life. So to try to get rid of the magazine, they must do it properly because in a school filled with young boys, they don't know who can get corrupted. But the magazine seems to have a life of its own and tries to fight back. After multiple efforts, even trying to rip the book apart, they are successful in getting rid of it by giving it to a homeless man. But at home, the boy realizes that he still has a page from the magazine and when he tries to flush it down the toilet, he can't because his hormones have gotten the best of him and somehow without any question, he masturbates again. For a moment, there isn't any guilt, but then his mother knocks on the door again. The film beats. The important beats in the first act are the boy receiving the magazine and entering the bathroom, establishing how protective, conservative, yet caring his mother is and what she says to him that makes him feel the guilt of the moment. There are three powerful scenes in the first act that help us set up the story and the need of the character. In the second act, on the boy's walk to school, he sees all kinds of men who seem weird and threatening, the kind his mother warned him about. He feels even more guilty after realizing what masturbation does to men. So his friend and him try to get rid of the magazine. An important scene here is when he tries to rip the pages of the book because this is how he carries a page back home. The third act has the boy trying to cover the last piece of evidence that the boy accidentally took home. But before he does this, he wants to use the magazine once more. And once he does, his mother comes knocking on the door, bringing up all the guilt that he thought was gone by getting rid of the magazine. The characters. Our protagonist is a young teenager around the ages of 13 to 14. He's a very sweet, kind and innocent boy and all he's doing is being curious. As a young teenager, all things sexual are very new to him and he's still trying to understand this world of hormones. But his first lesson is an extreme one. The friend. There is always the one friend that brings you the magazine that he stole from his father or older brother. The one who will follow you anywhere because you all understand each other better than anyone else. Because you all are going through the same things. This is that friend. The mother. One of the most important characters in this film, although we see only very little of her, her impact as a caring mother who is trying to protect her children sets up the whole story. It is her that the boy is truly afraid of disappointing and he really wants to make sure she never finds out what he did. Extra cast includes strangers that appear in the beginning and end of the second act. Work is important personifications of what the boys could end up as if they don't hide the magazine and cover their actions, which is a great way to highlight the guilt they are feeling. Setting There are three main locations in the film. The school is the most important one because a lot of the film takes place here. From the beginning of the film to almost the entire second act, this is where the boys have their misadventures in trying to hide the magazine. Another important location is the street. Here is where we see the men in their exaggerated forms and also the space where they try to burn the magazine but the homeless man stops them. This location is just where the boy lives. The need here is to establish it as anyone's home just a regular middle class family because the audiences need to know that this can happen to anyone.
The three primary tones in this film are comedic, surrealistic and innocent. The innocence of the character is extremely important because it is because of how sweet and kind he is that it makes it believable why he is feeling this kind of immense guilt which drives the rest of the story. The comedy comes from the misadventures of the boys and our protagonist's new exaggerated perspective on anything. Everything he does now that is considered wrong feels tenfold worse and causes more problems than solutions. The surrealism goes hand in hand with the comedy. Because guilt is such a vague concept and we play around with feelings of it, combined with comedy, our options are unlimited. It works well in creating highly exaggerated situations that only extremely confused young men would feel. Which is perfect for us because this is exactly what the boy is feeling. Thank you so much for your time. I hope to hear back from you soon with some good news and I hope this pitch was adequate and everything that you were looking for. Thank you and have a great day.